to my channel and today I decided to do a haul video now I've always said that I probably would never do a haul because I don't shop like that especially not when it comes to cosmetic and beauty items I really don't shop like that so um, I just always kind of figured a haul video would be something that I would never really do but today's haul video is a Dollar Tree haul so I'm going to share with you guys all of the items that I got from the Dollar Tree um, and what I actually want to do is I'm going to take the stuff out of the bag first so that you guys won't hear all that rattling in the background because that can be a bit um, annoying and obnoxious and distracting so I'm just going to take the stuff out of the bag first and then I'll just share with you the things the items that I got I absolutely enjoy watching my, I think I got like a little flyaway right here. I hate it when I watch um, YouTube videos and like they're like fiddling with their hair so much. Like, um, yeah, and then I hate that that's a big um, pet peeve of mine, but I, I'm seeing in my screen, my viewfinder, and I can see like flyaways, so I'm just doing that very same annoying thing that I absolutely cannot stand, but yeah so anyways um so anyways guys it is extremely hot in here I'm in my office today um and it's hot like the sun beams in right in here and I can't turn the fan on because I don't want it to be loud in the background then I got my lighting going so it is hot in here so I'm probably gonna start sweating so I'm gonna try and get through this video but anyways, I know for sometimes Dollar Tree is like a hit or miss. Sometimes I go in there and they have a lot of stuff that intrigues me. And sometimes I go in there and they really don't have much of anything worth a crap, worth a dollar. But this particular time when I went in there, they had a lot of stuff that I wanted to get. Um, I watch a lot of Dollar Tree haul videos. And people usually have a whole bunch of stuff and I really only have a few items you guys know how I am but since these were like good finds these these were what I consider to be good finds and they were only a dollar I figured I'd share them with you and you guys could go and check your local Dollar Tree and see what all they have to offer um, first and foremost I'll start off with some things that I got that I needed um, I've been meaning I got uh, um, these are hand sanitizers these are um, they are aloe vera and moisture they have they're like moisturizing sanitizers with aloe vera which is really good for the skin and so I decided to grab these I got a, a three pack because I want to put I want to have some that I can put in my kit for when I travel my makeup kit and then I like to have some in the vehicles in our vehicles I like to keep some in there especially for when I'm just getting gas and not really going inside the store or you know what have you or if I'm changing my daughter's diaper in the vehicle which I tend to do a lot I just change her diaper in the truck because some of these bathrooms are nasty and there was one particular situation where um, my daughter was younger and I was taking her we were at the mall and I was taking her in the bathroom and I was going to use the changing station that they had in the bathroom and somebody had changed their child's diaper in I guess where they call themselves wiping up maybe they had got poop on it on the changing station and they call themselves wiping it up but they just smeared it everywhere and it was disgusting and from that day on I was like uh-uh I ain't fooling with this no more um yeah I do have a changing pad but I ain't putting my changing pad down on somebody else's poop that's nasty so from here on out I either change her in the stroller I'll take her in the bathroom and just change her inside the stroller like leave her sitting in the stroller and change her or I change her inside our vehicle one of the, the cars or the truck or whatever but anyways I have not um because I know I was going to be doing this haul video I did not take them out and put them in the places where I wanted them to go so I can't wait to um, put one in the truck and then put one in my uh, travel kit my makeup case my traveling case for my makeup and then I guess I'll just have like another one maybe here in the office or I don't know somewhere but that's just what they look like and I'm not sure how they smell 
Uh, it almost feels kind of like hair grease. I don't like that. Yeah, I don't really like the way that they smell, which is a big deal. I don't like stinky, smelly, scented. I don't like stinky stuff. Well, who likes stinky stuff? But I don't like that. I don't like strong scented my hands on my hands. Get pretty near my face. Get near my face a lot, and I just don't want to have like strong smells and scents up to my face, especially on my hands. I kind of can't stand that for some odd reason. And next, I got a little Nivea some hand moisturizer cream. What it says on the back is Nivea Cream, the original skin moisturizing cream, helps your skin stay soft and supple. Ideal for daily use for all intensive moisturizing needs. And I wash my hands so much, and, and sometimes I forget to put lotion back on my hands, and then I'll go out um, in public, and my hands be all ashy right here in the crack, which which they are right now. So I wanted to get this to put in my purse, especially since it's so small. See how slender that is? You just drop it. So down I thought this would be great for when I forget to moisturize my hands and I'm out. I can just pop it out. You know, open it up. It still has the seal on it. That's the Nivea seal. You guys can see. Um, I'm not gonna peel the seal back just yet. Or, or it's really simple. And there's just the cream in there. And probably the only thing that sucks about this is that it'll probably end up getting under my nails, which I can't stand. So I'll probably have to like be really strategic as to how I get it out to apply it. I got that. And moving on, I got some bandanas. This is a red one and a blue one. It was two in one pack for a dollar. I got some bandanas because sometimes when I'm getting ready to record, I think it would be convenient to just like tie a little bandana around my edges, especially when my edges are getting rough, when it's getting near um, relaxer time. I could just um, find a cute little style to um, a cute little style for my hair or just a cute little way to wear the bandanas for quick decency for my videos and for when I'm going out and I, I've had been meaning to get some bandanas get like some cute like maybe black and white or red bandanas just for when I just need something really quick and since I saw these in the Dollar Tree I thought I'll just grab these and they also sell them in Walmart for a dollar and they have many different um, colors in Walmart too you guys Hopefully, I'm lit pretty well in this video. I noticed when I record in the office, sometimes I'm too far back from the camera and the lighting and the natural lighting to where it still comes out dark. So hopefully, it's not too dark. And next, I got this bag, this little tote bag. You guys can see I'm gonna have to lean back some. But it's a little tote bag with little lips on it. And it's a pretty decent sized tote bag. And when you open it up on the, um, like the side panels have like a picture of a lipstick tube. And I thought that was so cute and so adorable. And I use these tote bags a lot. Like when I'm going out of town with my daughter, she has so like toys and diapers and wipes and you know, snacks and all types of stuff and blankets. Like now that it's getting chilly, whenever we go out of town, I can pack her blankets and I can just throw them in a tote bag. And a lot of times, like I'm bad at packing, I like overpack. So this tote bag, I figured it will come in handy for something at some point. And it was only a dollar and it had lips on it and a tube of lipstick on that little side panel. And I just fell in love with that. I thought, hey, I'm gonna grab it. I saw um, Platinum D had one of these bags in one of her Dollar Tree haul videos. And at the time, it wasn't in my Dollar Tree and I was so incredibly pissed. I was salty about that, but our Dollar Tree finally got them. So, and they had several other tote bags. Now, moving on to, um, I didn't get that many items, you guys, so it's not gonna be that exciting of a video. But next, I got um, uh, some makeup. Well, I got one makeup item, and this is a liquid eyeliner. It is a glitter liquid eyeliner from e.l.f. I have never seen this in Walmart. It is in the shade Stardust and it's just glitter. And what I will do is I'll take it out. It's a fine tip brush. So I don't I don't really think it's felt tip. I think it's just like a little eyeliner brush. But this is what it looks like. I don't know if you guys will be able to see the color of the glitter that well. 
I need a new camera or a fancier camera and I'll just swatch it for you. I won't worry about sanitation since it's only a dollar. I can just go back and get another one for, you know, use on someone else. But it's not all that fancy. You probably have to layer it up and, you know, probably have to do a layer let it dry and then do another layer yeah it's not that it's not that fancy not that spotiote but it is only a dollar figured i'd try it out and test it and see what i could do with it and next i have some nail art stuff now i've got nail art um things from items from the Dollar Tree before and they weren't that bad. This is like a, some, um, I'm trying to think, what is this called? Like a nail art wheel or whatever, but it just has little decals in it that you can use. Um, none that seem too fancy. There's some that's like flowers and then some stars that are like rhinestones, different colors and like some circles that are different colors. So yeah, super excited about these when I saw them. They are nail stickers and they're Essie nail stickers. So basically my point is these are probably, these probably were some old releases. That's why they're in Dollar Tree now, but they are Essie. And they look like this, they're nail stickers. These are cheetah print nail stickers and it's called Don't Cheetah On Me. And I have not opened any of them. I guess I'll open these now so I can. It had like a little tape, a little seal up top. You just pull it out in there in a little plastic baggie. And I think it's 18 nail applique strips. One cuticle stick, uh, one file and buffer, and an instruction sheet. Now I just don't see how this got a cuticle stick in it, but let's see. Add the strip of 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Wait a minute, hold it. 18. I'm sorry. 1, 2, 3, 8, 9. Yeah. 18 nail strips. And those are cheetah print, like I said. And this little background that they were on top of. It's a little mirrored background there, just like this in the packaging. Um. Oh, here it is. Okay. Oh, okay. Wow. This is just like a little clear cuticle stick, I'm assuming. Yeah, and this is the nail buffer, nail file, and nail buffer. It's two-sided, double-sided, dual-sided, whatever. You got two sides. You got the front and the back. <laughs> and these are the instructions. So, yeah, it holds everything that it says it holds. So, yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm about that life for a dollar. And so here are the other kinds that I got. This is Sneaky. Sneaky? So I guess this is like what, um, snake skin? But they're like a chrome, like a silver chromey color. And then I got one in Embrace the Lace. And it's kind of like this nude, really light, like like this nude, really light, peachy color in the background with like lace um, embroidery on it. If embroidery is a word, maybe lace texturing or design or whatever, kind of like some lace on it. So if you're feeling a little lacy, you want to, you know, be a little fancy, you can put that on your nails. Or you can get Love to Love You. And this is like um writing like writing on some paper or something like if any of you have ever tried the sally hansen nail stickers they have some similar to this they're called love letters i remember it, it's called love letter that's the name of the particular design and it's just like this and this is actually a dollar when i first tried the sally hansen i think they were like seven or eight dollars you could go get this same thing from your local dollar tree and this is actually etsy and it's a dollar so, mm, how you love that? And the last one I got is Stickers and Stones. And it's like a black or maybe like a really dark gray black. black just, whew, <laughs> a really dark gray background with like some little um, sparklies on it. Kind of like some little rhinestones almost. So, 
So that is the end of the haul. Like I said, I didn't have that many items. I was just super duper excited to share this with you. I've never been interested in recording a haul video myself, but when I found these items, I was like, I gotta share this. This is like, you know, the best thing since shoestrings. And I gotta share this with my subbies, with my viewers. I have to share this because these are some, you know, fun stuff for a dollar. Y'all, a dollar. Oh, that one. So I had to share it with you guys. Um, I just wanted to share, you know, I had to share. I like sharing. Sharing is caring. And for those of you who may not be interested in the items that I got, like um, Dollar Tree is a pretty good place to get household items. Um, for those of you who don't know, like I didn't know this, my sister, one of my sisters told me that Dollar Tree carries like uh, name brand bread, like Nature's Own, which um, we used to buy Nature's Own, which is kind of like two, sometimes maybe even three dollars a loaf, depending on what type of loaf, you know, what type of, what flavor, what type of bread you're buying. Um, and they have it for a dollar, but you kind of, but, but it goes quick though. It goes really quick. And all Dollar Trees now have like the refrigerated section, where they sell Gatorades and, you know, frozen foods vegetables cheeses sandwich meats ice cream you know desserts cakes all kind of stuff like that now some stuff i kind of feel like i'm not going to get at the dollar tree because i could possibly go to walmart and get it cheaper especially gatorades i can less than a dollar so why would i get it at the dollar tree for a dollar you know what i'm saying so yeah i know y'all probably like oh girl you're a cheapskate yes if I can save a dime or two or a dollar, I'm going to do it. Because there's people out there that's going to charge you an arm and a leg for some crap that you can go and get for just a toe. So why am I going to give you an arm and a leg when I can just give you a toe? You feel what I'm saying? It ain't a whole lot that I'm going to do with a toe other than grips and stuff. And then I still got another foot with five toes on it. So why am I going to give you an arm and a leg when I can just give up a toe? And then ain't nobody really got to know because I can just wear in toe shoes for the rest of my life so you know, you know, you know, you know, you know. so you know you, but it's all according to what you want to do me personally if i can get it a little cheaper here then that's what i'm gonna do because i have sometimes people just bypass stores like the dollar tree because they maybe feel like it's just full of crap and for the most part it usually is but sometimes you can go in there and find um some really decent deals like i also wanted to share that little tidbit of information with you guys go check your dollar tree out don't be so high mighty and bougie talking about you don't want to go to the dollar tree because sometimes the dollar tree really does have good stuff so yeah sometimes hopefully you guys enjoy thank you so much for watching and continue to tune in every week for a new video and thank you guys so much for your support and until next time be beautiful